three, four. Uh, uh, Rabbi Holman, I need to see you for a second on the stage. Yes, sir. We, there's something we have to deal with immediately. <laughs> Shalom, 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 I'm cool.
Shema Yisrael. Yahweh Eloheinu Yahuanakad. Where Habata if Yahweh Eloheka u kol avavka u kol nefesh ka u kol meodika. Where have you had it by Rim Ele Eshe Anoki Nitzoveka? Hayom all avavka. Hear Israel. Yahweh our Elohim, Yahweh is one. And we are to love Yahweh our Elohim with all of our heart, all of our strength, and all of our resources. These words I am ordering you today shall be on your heart. But ku et Yahweh hamevera, barukata Yahweh hamevera le alam wayet, barukata Yahweh le heinu meleka alam, asher bekar benu mako hamayim wenatan la nu hatora, barukata Yahweh no tan hatora. That is to say, blessed be Yahweh, the blessed one. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who selected us from all the peoples and gave us your Torah. Blessed are you, Yahweh, giver of the Torah, to our master, to our savior, to our deliverer, to our healer, our provider, and our sustainer and giver of life. Master, we come today thanking you for all things, thanking you for life, health, and strength, Food, clothing, and shelter, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We thank you for those families that are gathered here today, Master, and we recognize the importance of this day. We recognize the magnitude, oh Master, that this was Israel's Independence Day. Oh Master, we thank you as we reflect back to how you brought us out with a strong hand, or that our shoes never worn out and our clothes never got tattered over 40 years in the desert. We thank you, O oh King, and we lift you up today. We adore you, Master. Oh, my heart is glad today, O King, as we recognize this day that you said you said we shall remember, that we shall zakar, and that it shall be a, a law forever. So we ask, Master, that as we honor you today, as we honor the day that you brought us out of Mitzrayim, Master, that you look upon us with favor. Have mercy upon us, O King. Have mercy upon us and keep us, Master. Keep us this day. This is our prayer. Redeemer. 
Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, come on. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. It is good to be here yeah. once again. <laughs> One more game. And One more game. To be able to, we can do the lights. I know it looks pretty. <laughs> but, but turn the lights on, please. <laughs> it's good to be back in our house of worship for this occasion. We kind of got separated from it, but we back on it. Oh, yeah. Everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We back on it. Yes, we are. Now, for those of you that are viewing my stream, I have to tell you that this is going to be a very long service. So wherever you are watching, um, um, it's, a long, it's a long service. And we hope that you will remain with us. I know that some of you asked us to stream it for you so that you can participate where you are. We say Shabbat Shalom to you also. Shabbat Shalom. Well, we're going to get to it with no delay. Ambassador Appleton. Yes, sir. Shemot chapter 12. Shemot chapter 12. Eye Ashe Eye spoke to Moshe and Aharon in the land of Mitzrayim. He said, you are to begin your calendar month with this month. It will be the first month of the year for you. Speak to all the assembly of Israel and say, on the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb or kid for his family. One per household, except that if the household is too small for a whole lamb or kid, then he and his next door neighbor should share one. 
dividing it in proportion to the number of people eating it. Your animal must be without defect. A male in its first year. And you may choose it from either the sheep or the goats. Verse 6. You are to keep it until the 14th day of the month. And then the entire assembly of the community of Israel will slaughter it at dusk. They are to take some of the blood and smear it on the two sides and top of the door frame at the entrance of the house in which they will eat it, which they will eat. That night, they are to eat the meat roasted in the fire. They are to eat it with matzah and mayor. Don't eat it raw or boiled or roast, roasted, but roasted in the fire with its head, the lower parts of its legs, and its inner organs. Let nothing of it remain till morning. If any of it does remain, burn it up completely. Here is how you are to eat it. With your belt fastened and your shoes on your feet and your staff in your hand. And you are to eat it hurriedly. It is Eye Asha Eye's Pesach, or Passover. For that night, I will pass through the land of Mitzrayim and kill all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, both men and animals. And I will execute judgment against all the gods of Mitzrayim. I am Yahweh. The blood will serve as a sign marking the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I strike the land of Mitzrayim, the death blow will not strike you. This will be a day for you to zakar, remember, and celebrate a festival to Eye Ashe Eye. From generation to generation, you are to celebrate it by a perpetual regulation. Well, we know what perpetual means, doesn't it, don't we? <laughs> and we know what from generation to generation means. So this is something that we are supposed to do every year when it comes up as long and wherever we live. Now, the, uh, the uh, Haggadah, the Seder uh, liturgy, is on the screen for you to see and read. There will be a lot of reading to be done, and uh, our young people, we got some, we got some reading for some, for the, uh, for the, for the young boys to read, we're going to need you to read, and we're going to need also some participation from you in the audience where you're going to have to read. There are 11 readers, uh, adult readers. So as we work through this, uh, we want to work through it uh, as it comes up. Um, Devarim, chapter 16, verse 16. Three times a year, your men are to appear in the presence of Yahweh, the Elohecha, in the place which he will choose, at the festival of Matzah, and at the festival of Shavuot, and at the festival of Sukkot. They are not to show up empty-handed, but every man is to give what he can in accordance with the blessing Yahweh, your Elohim, has given to you. We start the eating of matzah to, tonight at Passover. Tomorrow will be the feast, the festival of matzah. Men, when we come tomorrow, we need to come with an offering. It is a requirement as a, a Torah to do so. So please prepare yourself for that. Let's get to the Haggadah. A yearly family celebration, recalling Yahweh's mighty act of salvation in bringing Hebrew Israel out of Mitzrayim slavery, Egyptian slavery. Passover represents Yahweh's deliverance and redemption.
from physical slavery in Mitzrayim to freedom and his provision for his children in the past and today. The lighting of the festival candles. We need to stand for this. Brukata of Ata Yahweh Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kenitsunu Bamitzpata Benzibanu Lihiot Or Ligoyin Benatan Lanu Et Yahweh Ha'olam Amin. What did I read? Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by your commandments and commanded us to light to be a light for the nations. We have the lighting of the candles. We're going to need some of that up here. Horse radish. You may be seated. Rukata Yahweh Elohim Malaka Alam Shehek Kanu Vekaimanu Behig Banu Lazman Haze. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has brought us life and sustained us and enabled us to reach this season of joy. On the 14th day of the month, between sundown and complete darkness, comes Pesach for Yahweh. Signi significance of the Passover offering. It is Yahweh's Passover, Pesach Passover. For that night, I will pass through the land of Mitzrayim and kill all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and animals, and I will execute judgment against all the gods of Mitzrayim. I am Yahweh. The blood will serve you as a sign, marking the houses where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. You. When I strike the land of Mitzrayim, the death blow will not strike you. Your lamb must be unblemished, a year old male. 
You were ransomed with precious blood of an unblemished lamb without defect. You shall not break any of its bones. The blood will be a sign for you upon the homes where you where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. There will not be any plague to destroy you when I strike the land of Mizraim in the land of Egypt. The blessing of the feast. During the course of the Seder, we will drink four cups of wine for each of the four distinct redemptions promised. Yahweh said to Mashe, I am Yahweh and I will bring you out sanctification from under the yoke of the Egyptians. I will free you deliverance from being slaves to them and will redeem you redemption with an outstretched and almighty all with with mighty acts of judgment. I will take you as my own people fulfillment and I will be your Yahweh. Let us now pour the first cup of sanctification. And as you pour the wine, do not drink. Pour it and set it aside. The first cup, Kadesh. I'm going to read the Hebrew. This should have been the leader, and then you will repeat after me and, and read read the trans the transliteration. Baruch atah Yahweh Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Parei HaGafen Amin. Let us read. Blessed, Blessed are you, Yahweh, Yahweh our Elohim, Elohim, King of the, of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Amin. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, the universe, who has selected us from among all the peoples and exalted us among the nations and did sanctify us with his commandments. And you, Yahweh, our Elohim, have given us festival days for joy, this feast of unleavened bread, and the time of our deliverance and remembrance of the departure from Mitzrayim. For us, you have selected and sanctified us from among all nations, that in that you caused us to inherit your set-apart festival days. Blessed are you, O Yahweh, who sanctifies Israel and the festival days. Let us now drink the first cup, the cup of sanctification. Keep keep Johan in the loop. I know he out there working, but keep the young keep keep the production people in the loop. Okay. There comes a time as we prepare, and this is the first washing of our hands. Urekats. Burukata Yahweh Elohenu Melek Haolama Sher Kenitsvanu Ben Mitzvatai Bezitsvanu Al Nidalat Yadayin Amin. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by his commandments and has commanded us concerning 
the washing of our hands. Amen. Let us wash our hands. There should be a bowl on your table to do that with, and there should be a towel behind it. The sanctification of the matzah. Were we through? Okay. Reminds me of the old days when we used to have foot washing. Mm. This just happened to be hands. We had to wait for everybody to get through getting their feet washed before we could move on. <laughs> and this is hands. <laughs> this is this is not this is not the twelve the twelve emissaries at the table with whatever's going on. Right. <laughs> this is not that. But anyhow, I'll wait for you all to get through. Sanctification of the matzah. Matzah is an unleavened bread. Our ancestors had to leave Mitzrayim in a hurry, and their bread had no time to rise. This signifies our need to live our lives in humility before Yahweh, our Redeemer, as we are commanded to eat unleavened bread. Leaven is indicative of that which puffs up and is not pleasing to our ale. Therefore, let us celebrate the festival not with leaven of the evil of evil and wickedness, but with the matzah of sincerity and truth. Let us share a piece of this leavened bread of Passover. I'm going to read, and you can say the transliteration after me. Barukata Yahweh Eloheinu, Malek Ha'olam, Hamotsi Lekam Min Ha'aretz. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, ruler of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Share a piece of the matzah. This is what we'll be eating for the next seven days. If you do not have matzah, you can also eat a tortilla. It has no leaven in it. Tortilla. The second cup. Mag magid the symbol of affliction. This represents the bread of affliction that our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt. Let all that are hungry come and eat. Let all that are in distress come and complete the Passover. At present, we celebrate it here. But, but one day, we hope to celebrate it in Jerusalem. Mm. Now we are servants here. But one day, we will be free men in the land of Israel. Let us now pour the second cup, the cup of 
deliverance. And if you still have some in your in your cup. Yeah, if you don't pour you some more. If you don't pour you some more. <laughs> Make sure Sister Harless is being taken care of back there. Okay. She's working the screen for us. <laughs> we didn't we didn't bring any servants in tonight to head to, 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 to service. <laughs> we didn't bring no foreigners into service tonight, so we have to do our own work. Oh, I forgot. Pour, but do not drink. Mm. <laughs> what are we doing? We, this is called practice, isn't it? This is called practice. This is practice. You know, well, you know what? <laughs> it's my to, this master desired <laughs> something to, to wash it down <laughs> with. Will you please get the hand mic ready, please? The hand mic. I need, I need one of our children to read for us the four questions. Who wants to read for us from, from the children? Isaiah, Isaiah you no know, child. <laughs> 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 Isaiah. Okay. Where it says, child, read, please. Why is this night different from all other nights? Oh, keep going. Keep reading. Why on other nights we eat all kinds of herbs, but on this night we can eat only bitter herbs? Okay. Uh, there's another line to read. Keep reading. Why on other nights do we not dip at all, but on this night we dip the greens twice in salt water? Why on other nights we eat, sing, uh, we eat sitting or reclining, but on this night we recline? To find the answer to these questions, we must go back to the early history of our people, to the days of Moses, Amashe, and Aaron. Let us all read. We, we were, were all slaves, slaves under, under Pharaoh, Pharaoh in, in Egypt. Egypt. And Yahweh, Yahweh, our Elohim, Elohim took us out from, from there with a strong hand and an, and an outstretched arm. Now, if, if the set apart one, blessed, blessed is he, had not taken us out from, from there, there, then we, we and our children, children would still, still have been enslaved unto under Pyro in Mitzrayim. Let us read. Though we were all of us wise, all of us understanding, all, all of us aged, aged all, all of us learned in the Brit covenant, covenant we, we should, should still be commanded to tell the story of the outgoing from Egypt. Blessed, blessed is Yahweh, blessed, blessed is El, who gave the Brit covenant, covenant to his people, Israel. Tradition has spoken concerning four sons, one wise, one wicked, one simple and one naive. Not all are equally equipped to receive the message of Passover. Not all are equally responsive to its importance. Not all can understand the significance of this ceremony. I need one of the sons to read, first son. I need a first son, a second son, and what have you. Any of you can read this. Men, you can read this. The the first son, how does the wise son ask his question about the meaning of Passover? He asks, what is the meaning of all these instructions that we have been given in the Holy Scriptures? What is their importance? He is keenly interested in understanding why we observe and how we observe. He wants to follow Yahweh's instructions and understand its significance. We answer him by teaching him fully all that Yahweh has given us to know and understand especially in regard to the fulfillment of Yahweh's instructions and promises. Is there a second reader? The second son is the, <clears throat> the, second son is the wicked son. How does the wicked son ask his question about the meaning of Passover? He asks, what is the meaning of, of this Passover service which Elohim has given you? You, he says, and not us. By so framing the question, he has withdrawn himself from the group and seemed to deny Elohim 
the wicked son must be answered forthrightly, even sharply for his own sake. Answer him by quoting the verse, it is because of, of that which Yahweh did for me when I came forth from Egypt. Feeling the way he does, if he does not repent, there is no doubt that the wicked son would not have been liberated from Egypt had he lived in those marvelous days of redemption. Do we have a third reader? The third son is the simple son. How does the simple son ask his question about the meaning of Passover? He asks very simply, Matzahs, what is this? What is this all about? The events are so overwhelming, they confuse and baffle him. Such a son requires a direct, simple answer that will impress him immediately. Answer him and say simply, Passover commemorates, commemorates and proves the power and mercy of Yahweh, who brought us out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Is there a fourth son to read? Okay. okay. The fourth son is naive. He hardly knows how to ask a question. This son requires ten tenderness and assistance in order to arrive at maturity. Assist him by, off by offering to answer the question, which is surely on his mind, but which he is unable to articulate. Say to him, this holiday of freedom is being celebrated by each of us because of what Yahweh did for me and, and for those who are not here with us today. In this way, the child will grow to understand and accept Yahweh's graciousness. Blessed are you, O Yahweh, our Elohim, king of the universe, who knows his children, who speaks to each according to their understanding, who has blessed us with his presence and has made available to each of us promises of redemption. Reader number five. It says, in early times, our ancestors worshiped idols, but the all including blessed is he has brought us near to worship him as it is written. Of old, your fathers worship other gods. And I took your father, Abraham, from beyond the river and I led him throughout all the land of Canaan. And I multiplied his seed, and I gave Yitzchak, which is Isaac, unto him in his old age. And I gave Yaakov, Jacob, and Esau unto Yitzchak, Isaac, and Yaakov, Jacob, whose name I changed to Yisrael. I led down to Mitzrayim, Egypt, with his sons. Let's roll it back. Reader number six. Blessed is he who keeps all his promises, who keeps his promises to Israel. For the Holy One, or the set apart one, planned the end to do even as he said unto Abraham our father in the covenant, which he declared, truly know that your seed will be a stranger in a land not their own. And they shall be made to serve and shall be tormented for 400 years. But the nation whom they will serve, I shall judge. Afterward, they will go forth with great wealth. Number seven. And he heard their groaning and remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Yitzchak, Isaac, and, Yaakov, and with Yaakov, Jacob. And Elohim spoke to Moshe out from out of a bush which burned but was not consumed. Come now, therefore, and I will send you before Pharaoh. And you shall say, Yahweh Elohim, uh, Yahweh Elohim of Israel has commanded, let my people go that they may have served their Elohim. Reader number eight. Are these all men? Yep. The, the women can read. The women can read. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, the women can read. Again and again, Moshe requested that Pharaoh, that Pharaoh allowed the people of Israel to depart from Egypt, from Mizraim, that they may worship Yahweh, their Elohim. Pharaoh refused to listen, saying, "Who is Yahweh that I should obey His voice to let Israel go?" As it is written, Pharaoh will not listen to you, so that I may multiply my signs and wonder and bring forth my people out of the land of Mizraim and bring out the children of Israel from among them. Number nine. Yahweh afflicted the land of Mitzrayim with nine plagues, with each showing his superiority over the gods of Mitzrayim. But Paro refused to let the people of Israel go. So Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the congregation of Israel and tell them that in the tenth day of the month, every man shall take a lamb, each according to their clan, one lamb for each household. Your lamb shall be perfect, without blemish, a year old male, and you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. And each and every man of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and the upper door posts of the house. And they shall eat it inside. Do not eat it raw, but roast it whole with the head and legs and its inner parts. And do not let any of it remain until morning. And this is how you are to eat this meal with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, ready to travel at a moment's notice. And you shall eat it in haste. It is Yahweh's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Mitzrayim this night and kill all of the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, both man and beast, and I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt, Mitzrayim. I am Yahweh, and the blood will be a sign on your behalf upon the houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague will not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Mitzrayim, and this will be a day of remembrance for you, and you shall observe it as an ordinance to you and to your children forever. At this time, we will use our finger or a spoon to dip out a drop from our cup of wine onto the plate for each plague. This symbolizes that even though it was our means of deliverance, the affliction of our enemies diminishes our own joy. Elohim does not desire anyone's destruction, but desires that all be brought to life and light. Each person is to use a finger or spoon to dip out a drop from his or her cup for each plague. It's your cup, so you can use your, your finger. finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't have a plate for you. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. So we do it like this. We go, Dom. Everybody go. Come on, here we go. Dom. Dom. Blood. And that's Safradaya. Safradaya, frogs. Frogs. Say it with us. Kinin, which is lice. lice. Say lice. 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 Arav. Swarms of flies. Swarms of flies. Swarms of flies. Devere. Cattle, cattle plague, cattle plague, shichin, Oof. boils, boils, varad, 
Hail. Hail. Arbe. Locus. Locus. Oshik. Darkness. Darkness. All right. I got one. Okay. Go ahead. Read. Mechbecharot. Death of the firstborn of the firstborn. So death of the firstborn. I'll do 10. <laughs> and Paro rose up and called Moshe and Aharon and said, rise up and go forth from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go serve Yahweh as you have said. And Eye Ashe Eye or Yahweh gave the people favor in the eyes of the Egyptians so that they gave to them everything. Everything they needed. Amen. And so it came to pass at the end of 430 years that all of the hosts of Israel went out from the land on the night of Yahweh to be observed by all the children of Israel throughout all their generations. All of the congregation of Israel shall keep it forever. Mm. <laughs> therefore, matter of fact, it says the leader elevates the cup and says, therefore, we are bound to thank, praise, laud, glorify, extol, honor, bless, exalt, and reverence him who performed for our fathers and for all of us these miracles. He brought us from slavery to freedom, from sorrow to joy, from mourning to festivity, and from servitude to redemption. Let us therefore sing a new song in his presence. Hallelujah! Don't have to wait. Don't have to wait. Don't have to wait. We got plenty of matzah for what's going around here. Only you. Only you. Only you. Only you. My Savior, I come to worship only you, only you, only you, only you. come to worship only you Elohim 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 you are holy you are worthy I come to worship only you. You are holy. 
worship. I come to worship. I come to worship. Only you. Okay, that's all right. We got until morning, right? We got until morning. <laughs> there we go. The three elements of Passover or Pesach. It has been said that whoever does not observe or does not make mention of the following three elements of Passover has not fulfilled his obligation. Namely, the Passover offering, lamb, the unleavened bread, and the bitter herbs. Of the Passover lamb tonight, we celebrate as our fathers did that night in Mitzrayim, Egypt by eating the lamb symbolic of our lives and deliverance. The lamb was slain and its blood sprinkled on the doorpost of every Hebrew family. Then it was roasted and eaten. Elohim said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. This unleavened bread, the matzah, why do we eat it? It is because there was not enough time for our ancestors' dough to rise when Yahweh, our Elohim, redeemed them from Mitzrayim. He commanded them to make unleavened bread. We remember in eating of the matzah that our ancestors were impatient to leave the bondage of Mitzrayim and impatient for Elohim's leading. We are also reminded that leaven is symbolic of sin. Our ancestors were put aside. Where we're our good. ancestors were to put aside the sins into which they had fallen in Mitzrayim and were to become a people set apart unto El. Likewise, it is written of those who have been covered by the blood of the Lamb Purge out, therefore, the odd, the old, the old excuse me, the old leaven, that you may be a new lump of dough, for you are unleavened. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice or wickedness and wickedness, but with the matzah of sincerity and truth. The bitter herbs. What is the reason for them? It is because the lives of our ancestors were made bitter by those who sought their destruction. By Yahweh our El, merciful and blessed be he, has prepared us and brought us to this day. We remember the physical sorrows and torments of our ancestors. We grieve for those of the household of Yisrael who continue in spiritual sorrow and bitterness. On this night, we dip twice, once in the bitter herbs and once in the haroset to remind us of the bitterness of servitude and the sweetness of freedom, both from physical slavery and from spiritual slavery to sin. And on this night, we recline at our meal. It is the ancient custom that those who are free custom that those who are free are y'all not free those that are free recline at their meal and that those who enter into Elohim's rest are filled and satisfied by his gracious care and provision in every generation let each of us look on himself as if he personally came out, personally came forth out of Mitzrayim 
as it is written, you shall tell your son in that day, saying, it was because of what Yahweh did for me when I came forth out of Mitzrayim. It is not only our fathers that the Holy One, blessed is he, has redeemed, but us as well. For we are redeemed as a nation from bondage in Mitzrayim. As it is written, he brought us out from there that he might bring us in to give us the land which promised he promised to our fathers. Ateshiva 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 Creating me Yahweh A clean spirit I come to worship I come to worship I come to worship only you. Here I stand with lifted hands. Here I stand with lifted hands. Caress my soul, Yahweh. Make me whole, Yahweh. I come, I come to worship. I come to worship. I come to worship. Only you. Only you. everybody will everybody take your your cup of wine and lift it and say with me blessed are you Yahweh our Elohim King of the universe who redeemed us and who redeemed our fathers from Mitzrayim and has brought us to this night to eat thereupon unleavened bread and bitter herbs so Yahweh, Hail of our fathers, bring us to our festivals and holy days that come toward us in peace, happy in the building of the city and joyous in our service. And there may we eat all of the sacrifices and the Passover offerings whose blood will come upon the walls of your altars for acceptance. Then, then shall, shall we, we give thanks, thanks to you with a new song for our redemption and the liberation of our souls. Blessed are you, O Yahweh, Redeemer of Israel. Baruch Atah Yahweh Elohenu Melech Olam Bore Pricha Adoma. Amen. Let us read. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our El, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Let us drink the second cup of deliverance. Or cots, the second washing of the hands. Who may ascend into the mountain of Yahweh, who may stand in his holy place, he who has clean hands and a pure heart? Barukata Yahweh Eloheinu Malek HaOlam Asher Kenet Sanu Bis Mavatav Bezis Fanu Al Netilat Yadayim. 
Blessed are you, Yahweh, our El, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with the commandments and has commanded us about washing our hands. Once again, let's all wash our hands. We all clean? Have we, we clean? all washed all our right. hands? Okay. Each person, please take a piece of matzah, which reminds us of the haste with which we left Mitzrayim, and that each of us is called to remove leaven, symbolic of sin in our lives. Each one of you, please take a piece of matzah. Let us read. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our El, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to eat unleavened bread. Amen. Each person eat their matzah. You may need to wash it down a little bit. You can do that. I'm going to do that. I mean. Matzah is a little dry. Need a little liquid to wash it down. <laughs> Making a mess up here. Right. Okay. The mayor, bitter herbs. This bitter herb that we eat, what is the reason for it? It is because the Egyptians made our fathers live bitter in Mitzrayim. As it is said, they made their lives bitter with harsh labor, with mortar and bricks, with all kinds of labor in the field. With all their labor, they ruthlessly enslaved them. Shemot chapter 1, verse 14. Each person, please take a piece of matzah and put some horseradish on it, enough to bring tears. <laughs> enough <laughs> to, bring tears. to bring tears. We need to be obedient. <laughs> to remind us of the bitterness of slavery to Mitzrayim or to sin. Baruch ata Yahweh Elohenu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedushanu Vitzvotav Vitzivanu At Aharit Mayor Amin. Let us all read. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our El, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by your commandments and has commanded us to eat bitter herbs. Amen. 
Eat the matzah. Eat the matzah and the mayor. And the mayor. Enough to, to bring, bring you, you to, to tears. tears. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Man. Oh, that's mine right there. Oh, come on, get that on camera. I've got mine. Woo! Oh. Oh, that's good. Woo! Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> oh. I think that burnt the roof of my mouth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on. All right. We all good. Okay. Correct. The whore is set. Now come on. We got the we got the we got the bitter now. We got the sweet. Come on, here we go. During the time of the temple, Rabbi Helil would make matzah and place upon it the mayor and the lamb to literally fulfill the commandment to eat them together. Since we do not sacrifice the lamb for Passover, we instead take some matzah and horseradish as before and put some of it, put, put on it some of the choreset, excuse me. The sweetness reminds us that labor for oneself is sweet, just as slavery is bitter. Everybody take some choreset, that's the apples. And put it on your matzah. You go from sweet, go from sweet, B bitter from to bitter sweet, to sweet. sweet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let me out. <laughs> Hold on. Got it there. What is cornisac? It's a mixture of apples, nuts, cinnamon, mixed with wine on a piece of matzah, symbolic of the bitter life of the Israelites in Mitzrayim and of the mortar out of which the Israelites made bricks for Pharaoh and eats it. Let us eat it. Uh oh. I ate mine already. That's okay. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. Simon uh -huh. didn't say. Well, I don't know. But this is what? Practice. <laughs> <laughs> this is practice. <laughs> At this point, we're going to prepare for our meal. So those of you that are watching my stream, or I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to prepare to eat the meal. For the Hebrew people, leaving Mitzrayim was a joyous occasion. Their deliverance from slavery and reunification with Yahweh. We do not mourn, but celebrate this history as we also celebrate our reunification with Yahweh as we return to Torah and his teaching. Let us prepare to eat the meal that is prepared. I don't, I don't know what we're doing, so what are we doing from here? <laughs> yeah, meal, food. We're going to eat some food. I guess I'll... Those of you that are watching by stream, um, the house is going to be very busy. If you want to watch us do that, we'll let the stream uh, roll live and you can see what's taking place. Help yourself. Yeah, we 
we skip over it? Either we skipped over it or I left it out. Mm. We didn't do no herbs. We didn't do the herbs. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Woo, merciful. Oh. Yeah, I, I uh, somehow it got left out.
And those of you who are watching still by the stream, you may wonder why it is we did not bless the food before we ate it. That is because in the Hebraic way, the food is blessed after you eat it. Beshut, Malana, Verabonata, Neverek, Elohenu, She Ak, Alnu, Mishlo. Let us all read. Let us bless our El, of whose gifts we have partaken. Baruch Eloheinu, She, Akhalunu, Mishlu, Bunatuvu, Kayinu. Let us read. Blessed be our Elohim, of whose gifts we have partaken, and whose by goodness we exist. Baruch Atah, Baruch, excuse me, Hu, Ubarak, Shemo, blessed. Blessed is his name. Our Elohim, King of the universe, who feeds the whole world with your goodness and with grace, kindness, and mercy, and gives food to every creature, your mercy endures forever. And as your abundant mercy has not failed us, so may we never be in want of sustenance for the sake of your great name. You provide nourishment for all and are kind to all who provide food for the creatures that you have created. Blessed are you, who provides food for all. Amen. Let us pour the third cup, the cup of redemption. Somebody, somebody, said, somebody said, yeah. Just drop. That's good. Left this in there, should take it out. Do what you gonna do. A small piece, a small piece of the matzah, a small piece of the matzah is distributed to each participant to be eaten in remembrance of the Passover lamb, after which nothing else is to be eaten. So let us take our last piece of matzah for tonight. Read the Hebrew. Can you say it? Amen. Baruch Atah Yahweh Eloheinu. Melech Olam Asher Kidushanu Bitsvota Vitsivanu Al Achalit Matzah. Amin. Let us read. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to eat unleavened bread. Amin. Baruch Atah Yahweh, Eloheinu Melech Olam Bore Pri Hagafen. Amin. Blessed are you, Yahweh, Yahweh our El, El, King of, of the, the universe, universe, who creates the fruit of the, of the vine. Amen. Take, Take and drink, drink the third cup. What we miss? Oh, he must, that slide must have got out of there, too. <laughs> it was on the previous slide. Eat the matzah, and now we're drinking the wine. Drinking the wine, third cup. Elijah, 
according to the scriptures, a prophet like Elijah was to come to announce the arrival of the Messiah. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. This does not pretend to you know who. This is talking about the day of our redemption. That we are to pour the fourth cup. And we lift the cup of praise. Did we prepare for the fourth cup yet? No, nope, but if you got some in there. Well, Use we got what some you got. in there. Drink Use what you got. got. Left. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna drink it yet. Let us read. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Amen. Let us drink the final cup. Hallel, Hallel, the cup of praise. praise. Let us all read. Not, not for, for our sake, sake O Yahweh, Yahweh. Not, not for our sake, but for your name's sake, give glory. glory. For the sake of your kindness and your truth. Why should the nations say, where is their Yahweh? Our El is, is in the heavens. Whatever, whatever he pleases, he does. does. Their the idols, idols are silver and gold. gold and the handiwork of a man. They have a mouth, but cannot speak. They have eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Their hands cannot feel. Their feet, they cannot walk. Nor can they utter a sound with their throat. Those who make them should become like them, whoever trusts in them. O Israel, trust in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield, house of our own. Trust, Trust in Yahweh. Yahweh. He, he is, is their, their help and their shield. You are who fear Yahweh, trust in Yahweh. He, he is their help and their shield. Yahweh, who has remembered us, will bless. He will bless the house of Aharon. He will bless those who fear Yahweh, the small as well as the great. May Yahweh add upon you and your children. You are blessed of Yahweh, maker of the heavens and the earth. As for the heavens, the heaven is Yahweh's, but the earth he has given to mankind. Neither the dead can praise Yahweh, nor any, but we will bless Yahweh henceforth and forever. Hallelujah. Song of praise, <laughs> and this is going to close our Seder for this year. <laughs> right. <laughs> You are holy. Okay. Woo. All right. <laughs> Those lyrics were not in the, in the liturgy. You have to pull them up. You are holy. That's what I get. <laughs> <laughs> Too much wine? Too much. I think so. <laughs> Here you go. You are holy. Yahweh, you are holy. You are holy. Yahweh, you are holy. For you are the giver of my life. You're the giver of my soul. You're the giver of all things. To come, you are holy, Yahweh. 
to the day of our redemption back in the land of Jerusalem. Until then, shall we continue to keep the faith and hold fast to Torah. Amen. Amen. This concludes our Seder service at this time. Amen. Tomorrow begins the Feast of Matzah. And we shall once again have a celebratory time, and it shall be a time of feast. We will have food again on tomorrow. I want to thank you for consuming all the lamb. We don't have to throw none of it away or burn it up. Y'all right. did a good job. Fulfilled the mitzvot. And we fulfilled the mitzvot. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for your participation. <laughs> thank you all for coming out. And until until the morrow, shalom. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Gail. Gail, Gail has something.